Uh, hot off the news wires today, doctors save an Ohio boy by printing an airway tube. All right, here's how the story goes. In a medical first, doctors use plastic particles and a 3D laser printer to create an airway splint to save the life of a baby boy who used to stop breathing nearly every day. In the case of this uh, young child, doctors didn't have a moment to spare because of a birth defect, because of a birth defect, because of a birth defect. The little Ohio boy's airway kept collapsing. In a single day, the adventurous doctors printed out 100 tiny tubes using computer-guided lasers to stack and fuse thin layers of plastic instead of paper and ink to form various shapes and sizes. The next day, with special permission from the FDA, they implanted one of these tubes into the little boy, the first time this has ever been done. It's the wave of the future, said Dr. Robert Weatherly, a pediatric specialist at the University of Missouri in Kansas City. I'm impressed by what they were able to accomplish. Well, that's because you're an idiot. I'm not impressed at all. If the mother had had proper nutrition, the child wouldn't have been born with a birth defect. And by the way, they, didn't, they neglected to tell us how much this procedure cost. They neglected to tell us how much this procedure cost. You know, it had to be upwards of $300,000. What's better? 300000 bucks, and I'm making that number up. It might be wrong, might be higher, might be lower, but you know it cost at least hundred grand. You know it cost at least hundred grand. And I'm, by the way, I'm glad the kid's alive. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad the kid's alive. But everybody is overlooking the obvious here, that kids shouldn't have been born with a birth defect in the first place. The majority of birth defects are caused by nutrient deficiencies in the pregnant mother, and I'm looking at a picture of this kid's mother. She's at least 100 pounds overweight. Now, why do people become overweight? Because they're nutritionally deficient. That's the only reason people get overweight, unless it's a reaction to a drug, a prescription medication. The kid's mother is nutritionally deficient. I know this just by looking at her. It's the pediatrician's fault that this child was born with a birth defect. So what's less expensive? $150 of nutritional supplements a month or $100,000 of emergency surgery to keep the kid struggling to be alive? But, you know, in the, in, <laughs> in the world of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And so it is with conventional medicine. And most people reading this story would be inclined to think, oh, those doctors, they're so special, they're so great. Oh, my God, I can't wait until I get my plastic printed tube myself. Isn't that just great? The stuff they can do with surgery, well, it is great. Remember, surgery and emergency medicine intervention is the domain of the MD. This is their wheelhouse. This is where they excel. This is what they're best at. But most people not knowing anything about what we do, most people not knowing anything at all about the holistic vantage point, the holistic perspective, the tenets of naturopathic medicine, the foundation uh, uh, precept of naturopathic medicine, that the human body knows how to fix itself, the birth defects are caused by nutrient deficiencies in the body of the pregnant mother, in the blood of the pregnant mother that get, then gets into the blood of the fetus. People don't know this. And all that they see is a sickly little kid, and they think it's just an act of God or bad genetics or whatever. Well, it's not. If your child is born with a birth defect, you don't have, he doesn't have a bad gene. He's got a bad doctor, for goodness sake. Much better to spend money on educating people about how to have healthy pregnancies with no birth defects than all of this sophisticated, new age, Star Trek-esque medical interventions. For goodness sake, if it was up to the MDs, we'd all become Borg. Remember the Borg on, you know, Star Trek, the next generation? It was a whole race of people who were half people and half machines. Huh. Well, that's what the MDs want. I mean, in a perfect MD world, right, uh, when we're born, we'd have one kidney removed, we'd have the uterus removed, we'd have all both of our breasts removed preventively. We'd get all fake joints so that we don't get arthritis. They'd rip the gallbladder out, they'd rip the appendix out, they'd rip the tonsils out. Oh, they already do that, for goodness sake, and they'd medicate us up to the gills with medications because this is the way of the MD. And I've got to tell you, it is an old-fashioned, archaic, out-of-date, 
method. It doesn't work, and it doesn't never really work. It doesn't work for the, for the treatment of chronic disease, and that's why chronic disease is accelerating. That's why birth defects are accelerating. That's why mental illness is accelerating. And I'm going to talk about that in the next segment, the growing rise of mental illness amongst our children. It's going to stun you. I mean, fasten your seatbelts for these statistics, folks. You don't know what you don't know. And everybody in your community is suffering because they don't know the fundamental message of science-based, clinically verified medical nutrition delivered by naturopathic licensed physicians. Your body knows how to fix itself. Your body wants to fix itself. It just needs a break. For goodness sake, give your body the stuff it needs. One healthy start pack per 100 pounds of body weight per month. One bottle of selenium per 50 pounds of body weight per month. Plus elimination of the 10 bad foods is the most excellent place to start.